Hello everyone, V does a fancy back with another deck. And today we have the Tally Hole Masterclass decks from PlayingCards.net, Gambler's Warehouse. Very nice tuck cases as you can see. The top does say high quality playing cards. A little hard to see. But it says Masterclass Tally Hole Playing Cards number 17. Beautiful silver foil throughout both decks. I will point out that the black deck is the standard one. Not as limited. This one, I think there was only a thousand produced. Much more limited. On the one side, it says Premium Finis by 4 p.m. Designs. These are designed by 4 p.m. And yeah, it says Point Card Company on the other side. And I just screwed up the foil. Uh, the cellophane. <laughs> Top says number 17 with the 4 p.m. Designs logo. And the bottom, foil throughout, says Masterclass Tally Hole. 4 p.m. Designs logo again. And it says Designed by 4 p.m. And made by USPC. Whoops. The writing though is too difficult to read in the silver foil. A little writing. And in the back, you see the back designs are beautiful. In the foil, nice uh, M logo for Masterclass. And they seem to indicate on the Kickstarter this is the first in Masterclass, so there could be more. Maybe Mike's go branded or something, who knows. Um, stamp seals. Foil stamp seals, one is black on silver, the other is white on silver. Very cool. And you get to the cards, uh, to the tuck case, as I say, to the flap. Duh. It says Masterclass Tally Hole, and there's some trademark stuff again. And a little foil on these flaps. The inside, nothing going on. They're just like a matte stock. It's very nice. And we'll get the white one first. Because I like the white one the best. <laughs> First of all, I get a blank card. Here's your back design. It's pretty nice. I was a little disappointed that it's not more tally hole like, but I get it. It's a, I mean, you can't, it's not like, they could have made a bicycle branded and it would have been the same thing. It's just, it's a different brand, it's tally hole brand instead of bicycle branded. You get a double backer as well. And kind of a gray and black on white, as you can see. The Jokers. The similar to Tally Ho, it says Joker, two corners, Tally Ho, and the others, and you see a horse whip and a horse shoe. And also a nice border details to, on all the cards. The other Joker is the same except red. The Ace of Spades, it says Tally Ho, playing cards on top, Masterclass, created by 4PM Designs, made you say on the bottom. All the other Aces are more or less standard for this deck. And you get to the court cards, custom pips, custom little indexes, really tiny indexes. It does border details. Uh, and the court cards are just basically gray and white. They're all very similar. They're all a little bit small. They're almost repetitive, as you can see. Like, I mean, the faces are very similar from one to the other, and the bodies. But there is differences from one to the other. And they have nice custom pips as well. And number cards, nice custom pips again. Fairly standard layout for this deck. And that's the white deck. Let's look at the black one. What you're going to see is it's exactly the same uh, every detail except for its black faces and the black pips or white. By the way, I didn't mention this, but I should. For the indexes, you'll see all the letters and numbers are black. It's just the pip in the index that's a different color. So for the black one, you get the blank card. Like I said, it's the same thing. It's the same grayish color as far as I can tell, except it's on black. It doesn't contrast as nice as the white. It's a little disappointing, but it's not bad. It's just darker than I would have liked. And of course you get the double backer as well. The jokers are the same, except the black one is white, as you can see. And the other one still has the red in the center. The Ace of Spades, again, same, except it's white instead of black. And the Court Cards are the same thing, except Spades and Clubs have white pips and indexes. And all the numbers and letters are in white in the indexes, as you can see. The Court Cards are the same figures, but they're gray in color, 
which would be the same as what you see on this deck, except it's on a black background. So basically, hmm, I don't know. I really like the nice white limited edition deck, but the kind of standard black deck is a little bit, tiny bit dull. It's still nice, it's the same artwork, it's good artwork, but I'm not a big fan of the gray colors that they use, uh, you know, juxtaposed against the black colors. It just doesn't look as good. Uh, these are printed by USB-C, uh, Bicycle Stop Air Cushion Finish, or better, perhaps. Not sure if there's a traditional cut in this one. I didn't check out all the information. Or if I did, it just kind of went, went in one side, came out the other side basically, and or looked static to me, you know. I may not have, like what I mean is, I might not have noticed anything special for stomp and finish uh, when I skimmed through it. But they handle good. They look pretty good. I'm going to say for this one, 8 out of 10, I think. Pretty nice, but not extremely nice. You can get them, of course, from PlayingCards.net and all your favorite magic shops and card shops. I think most are carrying them. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching. See ya.